I have to show you this because it is so beautiful. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? As you know, I love to tinker with AI. I found some cool stuff. Grokster showed me some cool stuff. If you enjoyed my video from yesterday and you absolutely need to watch that, you will absolutely enjoy the video from today because it's just mwah. Let's get started. So here's a question. Do your images look like this? While my images look like this, or even better, they look like this. And you're going like, eh. well, today I have a solution for you that is super simple and it builds on the workflow that I showed you yesterday because I have a little bit of very tasty fairy dust for you today. Let's have a look. So here is something that looks like boring old code. And yes, it is boring old code, but you certainly don't have to do anything with that code other than copying it. So what you want to do here is to click here on that raw button and then you have the code, you select it with control A and then you copy with control C. And then you head over to your comfy UI folder and in there into the custom notes folder. And then you want to right click and make new and create a text document. Now you want to rename the text document Iris Fix and end it with PY. That's important because that is the format of these notes. Hit enter. It's going to ask you if you really want to have that extension. Yes, you want. And then my friends, you right click and you select edit with notepad plus plus if you don't have it download it it's a super software it's completely free it's just mwah, beautiful so here we have the software and then control v to copy everything in and then control s to save it and close it again wasn't that easy even your grandma can do that so you can do it too so now we're going to start up Conf UI and for that, of course, you're going to click on the run NVIDIA GPU bet. And then we are in my LCM live render workflow from yesterday. Check that out and I make a little bit of a change here. So first of all, I'm using here an image as an input that I created in Affinity Photo. It's a very crude drawing here. Looks like this and nothing special. Then like yesterday, we are doing all the prompt loading and so on. And over here we have the LCM with eight steps, CFG four, we use Karas as a scheduler, Denoise 0 0.7. And this is the first quality looks like not so great. But as you know, my friends, I dabble in secret sauce. So here is the fairy dust scented sauce, because this then goes here into my high quality machine. And there you have the case sampler going to another case sampler. This is then using 15 steps as CFG scale 7 at a Euler Ancestral with scheduler normal Denoise 0.2. And that is using a different model also, which is Dream Shaper 8. But where is the fairy dust? Well, it is up here with the high res fix script. Now to get that, you want to double click and then simply type high and you get high res fix script. You click on that and there it is. Now this is creating a script for you. You can set in here all your settings. I upscale by two and then I use 12 high res steps with a denoise of 0.43 iterations, just one. And the script then goes into the case sampler efficiency, the second one into the script input. So it's rendering the image first and then rendering it again with a 2x upscale and that is going to do the high res fix. So look at that beauty here already. We have a lot more detail and you can stop the process here if you don't need higher resolution. But you know me, I'm a stickler for high resolution, high quality. So what I'm doing here is an ultimate SD upscale with another 2X. And then we're going to do a face detailer to get a beautiful, beautiful face. And then we get something like this. And oh, my friends, isn't this beautiful. But we are far from done yet because now I'm going to show you a page that gives you endless workflows that are created, finished for you. And also I want to show you a way to create nice little animations with Animate Diff. I found that page by looking up this post here on Reddit. This guy apparently has created the page. I don't know him, but I checked out the page and I'm pretty much in love with it. I got to say, because all of this, everything you can see here, like for example, cool stuff like this here, 
animation looks really cool. This is a workflow that you can download. Now here on the right side, it tells you all of the different custom nodes that are used for this. Of course, this is going to be automatically installing with your ConfUI manager. The ConfUI manager, of course, is down here. This is another extension that you have to install if you don't have the ConfUI manager yet. You click on that and then you click here on install missing custom nodes after you've loaded the custom workflow from that page and loaded it inside of ConfUI. So going back to this page, here is the amazing thing. You get a preview of the output, but you also get a preview of the workflow. You can scroll into this to zoom in to see what exactly is happening here, how the nodes are connected to each other. It's not giving you details. It's just giving you a little preview of that on how it's connected, where everything is flowing. This already can be very useful for you to understand a little bit of what you're actually getting into. And now here is the even more amazing part. First of all, you can download the workflow right away to your computer, load it, run it and have fun with that. But if you don't have a strong computer, you can also run the workflow online here by clicking on this button in the cloud and everything is set up for you. How amazing is that? Now here's a workflow that I downloaded from that website and of course I adapted it a little bit with our little itty bitty high risk fix script down here. So I get a 1.5 upscale on my GIF file and I thought why not create a cute Neko girl drinking a cup of tea in a bar because why not? Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.